Hi, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to uh, make a really quick flip through of this uh, little golden book, Bambi. And I also wanted to show you another one that I'm uh, in the process of making right now. So it's not done. It's just uh, I already have the papers ready, but that's going to be the other one. So I'll have two of these. So this one is all finished and it's a vintage book. So it's a pre-owned old book and um, I put some, uh, what color was it, emerald green Inca gold around it to cover the distressed edges. So it's all green right now. And um, the corners were splitting a little bit so I added the small metal corners on each uh, corner of the book. And then I made pretty wide spine for this one and the other one. And I'll tell you why in a second. So this one has four signatures. It has green, as you can see, eyelet tassel attachment. Um, Rick Rack. This is actually really good quality Rick Rack on front and back. And then you have um, fabric on the spine. And the tassel is removable. And it's crinkled seam binding, sari silk, lace, eyelash trim, and this string of beads, green to match the book. And this is this is also removable. It's it's on a pin. So I just decided to add this mushroom because it's um, first of all I like to include these mushrooms, and second of all because it's forest and stuff. So the colors, as you can see, in the tassel are to match the book cover and then uh, underneath this flower was um, some sticker a price sticker whatever so I covered this with the applique flower so this book as you can see is um, I made the spine pretty wide because I want this uh, I was thinking to for this book to be used as a photo album or smash book so you have a lot of room for uh, adding pictures and stuff but anyways, I forgot to say, the tassel, um, there's no glue in the tassel, so if you wanted to, you can take it apart and then you can just have these fabrics for um, whatever projects you need. So, four signatures. And uh, first, I was thinking to have two of these books in one video, but then I figured that I actually need more time to explain stuff, so. All the book pages come in order, so um, the first and second signature has the original book pages. There's coffee dye paper, brown stamping, things to color, and a lot of ephemera. This is a tuck spot made with a um, playing card. So for example here, what you could do, I don't have anything bigger, but let's say this is your picture right here. That's the size of your picture. You can glue it right here and it could stick out. That's fine. But what I'm trying to say is that you can add your pictures to a lot of places in the journal. And then you can use all of these things to um, use them for descriptions of the pictures and stuff. Same here, you can um, just glue a picture right here. So calendar pages, a huge variety of uh, paper. So for example, this flashcard, you can, you can trim it off right here and then you could glue it down and underneath you could have a picture well, let's say this is my picture. Let's say it's it's this part here. So you would have a picture here. Then you can glue this on top. So this would look really, the picture is colorful, right? So this would be just covering it slightly. And then this piece that you trim off, you can glue it somewhere on top and just make a collage. So all of these pieces are for you here to uh, work with, um, you know, to make it a photo album. A more ephemera and uh, fabric on the side stamping this is a sticker so a lot of space to journal a lot of space to journal but so you could also use this for background for your picture 
or this will be perfect because these are beautiful flowers here and then description so it could be picture and then description or this is actually even better sp spot for a picture just like this uh, piece of paper shows this uh, this uh, sun isn't glued so you would put your picture right underneath it and then you can glue it down and it will look really pretty with the sun uh, on top of it so I'm just this is why I need to um, spend more time to explain to you what you can do with this journal this I didn't glue this envelope has some ephemera inside because you can move it around and plus I really like this paper so I didn't want to glue anything to it so you can really use it on a different page or you know somewhere else in the journal so I just clipped it right here and the envelope is also stamped as you can see this is such a pretty page you could even glue it here and then put a picture on top of it that would be pretty too And again, you can put a picture right behind this and then glue it down. So this, this kind of holds it down. This is paper and you can also journal on it. This is fabric that I got. That's like a bandana or something for uh, Pat uh, St. Patrick's. And because it's green, it works really pretty in this journal. So anyways, you can journal here. If you don't like this fabric, then you can just cut it off right here. So yeah, again, you can either journal on it or you can just glue stuff to it. And I found some ephemera with, uh, with reindeer. This is coffee dye paper. This is bunny stem. There's look at this cute bunny. This is so, so adorable. These books really make you happy. And um, this is a tab made with um, ribbon, washi underneath, birds. This is line, so you can journal on it. And here again are a lot of things. And in these pockets, you can add picture right here and you can glue the picture right here and then glue description on top of it. You can you can cut this in, uh, in a half or smaller piece. So just use these things. This, you can either cut it into smaller pieces or you can glue it somewhere it's a lot of ephemera to work with this is like a tree bark some um, pattern with this gold color shiny really pretty page and then i also found this greeting card so cute punched paper uh, here's this um, I think it's French geese but I'm not sure and then some birds here so I was trying to make it very uh, foresty then again you can draw on this paper as well some flowers here Stamp. Here's fabric, and that is another pocket with a vintage playing card. So, a lot of stuff here. And butterflies because there are butterflies here so 
just wanted to make this page about butterflies. Looks so pretty with this green sticking out. There's another bird here. Looks like these are birds of prey. Oh, uh, this, I don't know what this is. Um, I'm not even going to pronounce that. And here's a stamp. That's a flip. You can journal underneath. You can also cut it off. Beautiful paper, love this paper. This is origami paper. And a vintage book pages, floral. That's uh, the felt um, butterfly that I just uh, sewed on the paper. Mm, paper bag, some pretty flowers. And now, now I'm looking at the tassel and I'm looking how much the tassel um, <laughs> matches the flowers here. There's a swan. This is also coffee dye paper. And owls, of course, because it's forest. There's jingle bells that I'm recently adding to every single journal. And more stamping. This is vintage wallpaper. And I didn't cover this on purpose, but you can add stuff to it. And that sari silk on top. It's really pretty paper. Here is a tuck spot. So like, see, this is a um, placement card or whatever you call these. So you can use it as background or you can journal on it and you can cut it into pieces and glue somewhere in a journal. So that's the coffee dye paper. And I found this cool stamp. So I did find some reindeer ephemera, as I told you, and I was so happy to use it in this journal. You can journal on this paper. That's trim. It's a little tuck spot here. It's the origami paper again. And last signature. So, as I mentioned, the original book pages are in order. That's another um, tab made with um, ribbon some forest I mean I don't know if they're forest but seems like they're forest <laughs> birds I don't know if there is such thing but it, it's a tree so it, it kind of looks like they're in the forest see here uh, sometimes the uh, sewing machine is not doing a good job so that's what you get. That's uh, punched paper. That's a packaging paper. More trees. And this also will be a great um, spot for a picture. You can even, um, you could glue it right here and then glue this doily on top because as you can see, the doily is not glued. So this would look really pretty. And then you could uh, cut
cut out a piece and edit here and write description about the picture and stuff. So I hope you can get a lot of ideas with this journal. Let's put this on top so you can actually see it. Yeah, that looks pretty. And then here is another tuck spot. So basically it'll be the same thing. You can just add a picture somewhere here. And these are birds too. So I like how the colors work together. Uh, it's a beautiful blue, uh, teal blue, like turquoise here. So it's like really uh, the color palette is matching very well. And then even this color is kind of like here. Some stamp here. And that's another great spot for a picture. So you could put the picture right here. And then if you had a picture here, you can glue the uh, butterfly like somewhere in the corner of the picture. It would look really pretty. And this is sari silk, really pretty green. And then it has this pattern with some dark blue and stuff. So it's really like this color here. And here's some money, birds again, I was trying to include a lot of birds in this journal, really pretty journal card that this one is, and space the journal, and you get some money back. And this is an envelope, so you see I uh, extended it with a piece of paper, instead of just um, sewing it uh, in the journal or like in a signet or something. Here's the paper. And stamp. Little notes. Here are those um, forest birds. <laughs> I'm just kidding. More birds here. And the, these colors, there's like dark brown, it's just like the uh, reindeer right here. Yeah, I like how it works together, really nice. And then this is my uh, latest wired ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I used it in some other journals, I've been working on so many journals. I have so many journals that I have to finish. So anyways, I use this one and the other journals too. So again, you have a piece of paper that you can definitely glue somewhere, you know, it doesn't have to stay here where I put it, you can just move it around. And here's another, it's like weekly list and stamped postcard. And I love this paper, it's very smooth and it's very nice to uh, write on. And this was on this side, so it's another journaling card. This is such a pretty page too, I like this page. Because I like these colors here from the sunset. And then these colors here, there's some yellow and red. Uh, maybe it's a uh, fire, actually. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Flames, okay. Yeah, I, don't, I really don't remember. Bambi, I don't re remember last time I read it, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> it's terrible that I don't remember it. 
so that's that's the rick rack here and it's really good quality it's rather wide so see that these books when i make them they take me on a journey but i don't really read everything that's on the, i mean i never read anything quite frankly but then you know i go by the color and by the theme um so it's like forests and stuff so birds and trees and flowers and butterflies so it's different journey than for example when you work on cinderella and i actually am working on cinderella and um beauty and the beast right now so it's, it's a little bit different um different stuff when you work on uh, princess and uh, bambi so anyways <laughs> thank you so much for joining me and i hope you liked the video i hope i inspired some of you and please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon bye bye